Hello, pre-K parents. I just wanted to give you a little tutorial on the writing binder that's coming home this week. This binder is where you can keep their writing and projects for the year. You'll have a nice little keepsake at the end of the year. In the front pocket, you will find a laminated name practice sheet. And on the back, it's just clear. We might use this during circle time during the Zoom sometimes. I'll challenge them to write something and share it on the screen with us. And uh, if they're interested, they can practice writing their name. I like to teach kids their name with the first letter capitalized and the rest lowercase because that's how they're most likely gonna see it printed in the world and then they won't have to learn a new way later. But if you're more comfortable teaching them in all caps, and as they start to write their own name, they are going to choose to write the letters however they see fit, and that is okay. There is no right or wrong way. This week, I included a little number book, and I plan to send one of these home each week for different numbers for practice. In the pencil case, you'll find some short pencils, which helps them develop the proper pencil grasp. Also, a pack of crayons. I purposely included crayons in the writing binder instead of markers because they tend not to bleed through. And when the kids are doing little booklets, crayons um, are a little bit better for that. They each have a pair of scissors because there's often gonna be some cutting work in the writing binder. You've got this week's newsletter and some activities along with the theme that we're gonna be exploring for the next few weeks, which is all about me. Some of these I may send home as an activity and others you can explore on your own. There will be a month calendar in each. Kids can practice tracing the numbers if they want and you'll find videos of me doing calendar time on our blog and if the kids are interested, they can follow along and put stickers over each of the days as they pass. Each month, I'm going to include a self-portrait prompt so that at the end of the year, you could put all of their self-portraits together and see how they've progressed. And also, each week or month, every few weeks, I'm going to include a writing prompt and those are always really fun to look back on too. They can draw whatever they want in the box and then you just write down whatever they say as they dictate to you what their story is. This is a cutting prompt. Some of our preschoolers may not be ready for this yet uh, and that's fine. Don't get them too discouraged or have them get frustrated that they're expected to do this. Some will be able to follow these lines and cut and others won't be there yet. Each binder has a dot to dot of the first letter of their first name. And then in the back, since we're learning all about ourselves this first few weeks, there's a little all about me book that you can do with them. And they can either draw pictures or you can dictate and just write the words for them. My favorite color is yellow. And then we've got just one more fine motor activity in the back, and that is just uh, using their pincher grasp to, and hand-eye coordination to pull the stickers off and place them onto the dots on the tree.